Installing Kali NetHunter maybe takes a long process and is too much complicated. I have already created these videos, you can find them on my blog or in my YouTube channel. Hello everyone, welcome back again. Here, in this video, I am going to install Kali NetHunter on a listed device on the Kali NetHunter download page. Before getting started, our first priority is to ready the required tools and resources. Firstly, we have to download the Kali NetHunter ROM zip file for the Nokia 6.1 Plus. You can download it by clicking here. If you have noticed, then you might have seen that Kali NetHunter for Nokia 6.1 Plus can only be operated on Lineage OS 18.1. Let's download it by searching on Google. Here click on this link. Navigate to Nokia and click on 6.1 Plus. Unfortunately, Lineage OS 18.1 is missing. But do not worry, you can download these two files from my blog. Optionally, if you want to install an application package add-on such as Google Apps then visit this site. From here download mine the gapps 11.0.0 for ARM64. Now, download Magisk Manager from this site. Here, tap on Magisk Manager app to start downloading. Once downloaded, rename this file to a zip file using the command prompt. As you can see, the Magisk Manager APK file was converted to a zip file. One important thing, make sure you have already installed platform tools on your Windows PC. If you have not yet installed them then watch this video. To root an Android device, our first priority is to unlock the bootloader. It is not easy to unlock the bootloader in Nokia 6.1 Plus, as because, Nokia smartphones are not officially offering bootloader unlock codes, except for the Nokia 8. While on searching on Google, I found this article, which briefly explained the steps to unlock the bootloader. The first step is install Nokia USB drivers. To install Nokia USB drivers you can click this link or plug in your Android device with your computer using a USB cable and it will automatically show us the Nokia drivers. Firstly, copy all these to a new directory. Now install it. Once the driver is installed download Nokia Bootloader Unlock Tool. Click on the Download Unlock Tool and download it. Once downloaded, next we have to reboot the phone into bootloader mode. Firstly, we have to enable developer options. To do this, go to Settings and then go to About Phone. Now scroll down and tap on the Build Number field 7 times. Now go back to the previous menu. Now, click on System and then tap on Advanced, and then here click on Developer Options. Now, toggle the USB debugging option to on to enable USB debugging. Now again connect your device to your computer using a USB cable. Now, open a command prompt by pressing Windows plus R and type CMD. Now type ADB device to list the connected Android devices that are detected by the Android Debug Bridge ADB, tool. 
As you can notice, an Android device is listed, but it does not have any authorization. Now, we have to allow USB debugging to authorize the device to run ADB commands. As you can see the device now have authorization. Now, type ADB Reboot Bootloader to reboot your device into bootloader mode. As you can see, my Android device is now switched to download mode, which means, we are on bootloader mode or fast boot mode. Now the fourth step is to generate OTP for the unlock tool. Now here click on generate OTP. Here click on get the OTP. As you can see the OTP is generated. This OTP is valid for 15 minutes from generation. So let's proceed to the fifth step. In this step, we will have to run bootloader unlock tool, which I have downloaded before. Extract previously downloaded file. Now run the bootloader unlock by tm.exe file. Here, paste the OTP, and then click on begin unlock. Once you click on Begin Unlock button, you will notice various processes. Wait for the process to complete. Now, confirm unlock the bootloader as shown on my screen. To select unlock the bootloader, press the volume down button, and then press the power button to continue the procedure. Here, it will automatically erase the data, and then automatically reboot to bootloader mode. Now, we have to confirm unlock the bootloader a second time. Now, as you can notice, the bootloader unlock is completed, now we are ready to flash the recovery software that we have downloaded previously. Now, again enable developer options, as the Android device is completely reset. To do this, go to settings and then go to about phone. Now scroll down and tap on the build number field 7 times. Now go back to the previous menu. Now, click on System and then tap on Advanced, and then here click on Developer Options. Here you can see that the bootloader is unlocked in the Developer Options. Now scroll down and toggle the USB Debugging option to on to enable the USB Debugging option. Let me allow USB Debugging as pop up on my screen. Now, open a command prompt by pressing Windows plus R and type CMD. Now type ADB device to list the connected Android devices. Now, type ADB reboot bootloader to reboot your device into bootloader mode. Once my device is booted to download mode, type the fastboot devices command to list the connected Android devices that are detected by the fastboot tool. If somehow no devices are listed, it means that fastboot is not detecting any connected devices. This could be because the device is not properly connected to the computer, or because the device is not in fastboot mode, or sometimes there will be a chance of missing driver issues. If there is a problem with the missing driver issue, then you can follow this article, the link is in my description box. As you can see, a fastboot device is listed. Now, type the fastboot flashboot, and here drag and drop the path of the recovery image to flash the recovery image file to my Android device.
After the flashing process is complete, type the fastboot reboot recovery command to reboot an Android device into recovery mode. Your device will boot into Lineage OS recovery mode. To flash Lineage OS 18.1, firstly, we have to format the data. Click on Factory Reset. Now here click on Format the Data or Factory Reset. On click, it automatically wipes out all data. Once wipe out data is completed, go back to the previous menu. To flash custom ROM, click on Apply Update, and here click on Apply from ADB. Apply from ADB is a feature that allows a user to install OTA, over-the-air, updates or custom ROMs on an Android device using a command line interface on a computer. The command that is used to apply update is ADB sideload and then mention the location of the file. On click, it will automatically flash Lineage OS custom ROM. On completion, I have to reboot my device. After rebooting, follow the instructions to set up the device. We have successfully installed Lineage OS 18.1. But as you can notice, this device not have yet rooted, and also this device does not have Google support applications. So, our first priority is to flash the gapps zip file, which I have previously downloaded. Now, again, we have to enable the USB debugging and then run the ADB devices command to list devices. Now, type ADB Reboot Recovery to reboot the device into recovery mode. Now, we have to flash the Mind the G app zip file. Similar to the previous, here click on Apply Update, and then click on Apply from ADB. Now type ADB Sideload, and then drag and drop the file to mention the file path. Tap on Yes to continue the installation. On completion, go back to the previous menu and then click on Reboot System Now. As you can notice, Google Apps are successfully installed. But, for better performance, I suggest you to reset the data. After resetting, follow the instructions to set up the device. Now we have to flash Magisk Manager to root the device. Turn off your device and then press the power button along with the volume up button to switch back to recovery mode.
similar to the previous, tap on Apply Update, and then tap on Apply from ADB. Now type ADB sideload, and then drag and drop the file to mention the file path. On completion, go back to the previous menu and then click on Reboot System Now. Once the device is booted up, you can see the Magisk Manager app icon on the screen menu. Now, click on the icon and click OK to download the Magisk Manager app. Now, install it. Once installed, tap on the Magisk Manager app. Now, click on Install to flash the newly downloaded Magisk Manager. Here choose Direct Install. On completion, tap on Reboot to ensure that the changes take effect and are properly configured and integrated with the operating system. Now, we are ready to install Kali NetHunter Custom ROM. Let me transfer the NetHunter custom ROM zip file to my Android device. As you can see the NetHunter custom ROM zip file. From here go to the modules tab and import the file. So that it will automatically flash Kali NetHunter custom ROM. This process may take 25 minutes or more. Once the custom ROM flashed, reboot your device. Now, launch Kali NetHunter application from application menu. Allow the location permission. Now, grant super user privilege. Once super user privilege is granted, the Kali NetHunter app automatically detects installation files. Kali NetHunter successfully boots up, but Kali Krut Manager is not up and running. To set up Kali Krut, tap on the Kali Krut Manager icon. As you can notice, the Kali Krut already had installed, but various file systems are not yet mounted. Let me turn off grant permission notification. So we have to start the Kali Krut environment. Now Kali Krut is up. When the Kali Krut manager is running, you can use it to manage the Kali Linux Krut environment on your Android device. This includes installing and removing tools, configuring settings, and accessing the command line interface CLI version of Kali Linux. These are the complete process to install and set up Kali NetHunter on a listed device. If there are any queries regarding this video, you can mention them in my comment section.